So I think the concepts are good. I think those are I think sometimes I got a lot of things from the term physical exam. So um, far, you're saying that that can be done if you have the right technology. So, so that concept seems. So it's not laying on the hands, it's sometimes putting the iPad to the ear. So I, I don't put my ear to somebody's chest and listen to my other. I do the stethoscope and there are electronic stethoscopes, just like there are oscopes and balanscopes and so other kinds of things. I'll have to refer back as defined in paragraph B3. Remember, I split that all up. Perfect. Any other comments on the encounter? So I think the medical record issue is a bigger one. Um, in some of the states, for instance, there is the requirement that they have access to the patient's medical records, and um, that would probably be a big hurdle, you know, realistically in some cases. But uh, I don't know. Maybe just I just point that out. The, 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 treat, the physician treating the patient through telemedicine has access to the physician to the patient's medical records. I'm not saying that, that should, we should make that a requirement. I'm just pointing out that, that some states, you know, are imposing that. But if they don't have access, that's that's the problem. And that never happens, but if acute care walkers, right? So that, that may be. Yeah, but I would you'd argue that in that situation, they're establishing a new patient relationship. They assume at that point they could have done a full physical exam and appropriately on that patient in that real world. So, you know, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm not sure how practical it is, but keeping a well documented medical record is certainly not the alarm to that. So, what to do with the medical record once it's been created at the encounter is complete, which is the next point, is is the issue. So the, the proposals that have been submitted are number one, that the, the very least the patient <coughs> receive a copy of that record within 24 hours via PDF. And so I think that it always, it's always the patient's record. I don't think anybody would agree with that, but just in case, if everybody would agree with that, they should get a copy in an expeditious manner. Chances are they won't be using their phone to talk to a doctor if they don't. <laughs> well, maybe not. Um, the appropriate means should be identified there. Okay. We, 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 our patients, when they leave our office, they take their daily record with them and they walk out to the front door. Okay. So, so I don't think that the intelligence is being passed. That patient, if they want that record, they should say to that doctor, I want my record and I want that. Things, information technology world, so they should be able to access it. But barring something where an event where they didn't have ability to receive it, and they don't have it in the right way. Right. 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 I'm not sure I was the PDF. Uh, there you go. Fair enough, too. So. so, Kevin, you can make it appropriate electronic for other means. Okay. And let's talk about the piece about sending it to the PCP. It, you made the, the pivotal point, which I'm not sure is you have the treatment payment operation exception to the PIPA, so I think we could send it to the PCP if they wanted to for the purposes of patient treatment. But is that the practice we want to establish where it's always sent to the PCP to the patient um, identified? I think that would be ideal, but uh, again, um, you know, we don't have a special circumstance for patients that don't have an identified PCP. But it's up to the patient they want to find. The patient may have a PCP and they don't want them to know that they access services of someone else. So they don't to be next time they go to the I mean, it's, it's the patient's making the decision. The patient wanted it, then, then whoever provided a service. Well, it's kind of hard to provide. Off the in or off the out, right. So yeah. you could either, you could say it so they have to opt in, meaning that you have to ask them if they want to send or you could say standard practice is to 
mail it to the, we're going to mail this to your doctor unless you tell us not to. And I think that would be a more appropriate way. That way, yes, you know, I like that. Well, I think I've kind of said that now. Kevin, you may have a reason why that thing. And our suggestion, we kind of said the same thing. If, if the patient has a primary care physician, then provide a copy to the primary care physician if identified by the patient upon request. The reason I suggested that was to make sure that whoever's doing the, the telemedicine visit doesn't say, well, the patient didn't ask me to do that. I think they need to have an obligation to at least request then identify their PCP. And like you said, the patient may say, well, I don't want to do that. That's fine. Please request it. And then if they identify them, they have to be sent directly to the patient. Is this or, yeah, but I would read this statement and I, to say they have to request it. Otherwise, it doesn't get done. Yeah, I think that's the, I think that's the problem is if you leave it on the patient too often, it won't get done. That's why you should at least make it opt out instead of yeah. the physician doing the job has some vision. So you just say, say something like the effect that the record will shall be sent to PCP unless request the patient requested it not be. Yeah. 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 Right. And give them a box to put them opt out if they don't want it. Okay. Any other comments on that? I think that's a good 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 comment. Well most of most of the guys, most people would be doing this if they're doing this they're going to want the PCPs to know that they're seeing the patient, sure. I mean, they want to be accepted. They want, they want, they want to have a place in the field of medicine doing it, and, and they might not want that to be able to send it to the PCPs. So, you're saying the company won't be opposed to that? I don't think they would be. I don't think they would be. It requires a little bit of work, though, to find out how to do that. You know, so. But, I mean, Sort of main thing. Yeah, the, the technology and then yeah. figure that out uh, if they're right required. Right. So then, let's go on to number seven. If the patient at the recommendation of the treating telemedicine physician needs to be seen in person, then the, the burden is on the physician to make every reasonable effort to refer the patient to a local physician clinic and such recommendations are adopted in the patient chart. Appropriate, not appropriate. Can I just say go to the ER? Should they have to make an effort to find the local clinic? What are these thoughts? 